Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you, ready to reflect on the profound and compassionate moment found in Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 17, where Jesus raised a widow's son from the dead. As we delve into this powerful miracle, open our hearts to your love and grace. May we find hope in the midst of despair and recognize your miraculous presence in our lives. In your holy name, we pray, Amen. Our reading for today from the book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 11 to 17. Soon afterward, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near to the gate of the town, behold, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow and a considerable crowd from the town was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came up and touched the bier, and the bearer stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, saying, Great prophet has arisen among us and God has visited his people. And this report about him spread through the whole of Judea and all the surrounding country. Gracious God, as we reflect on the passage we have just read, we are deeply moved by the compassion and miraculous power of Jesus as he raised the widow's son from the dead. We witness a moment of profound transformation and hope in the midst of grief. Lord, we confess that at times, we may struggle with despair and sorrow, forgetting the miraculous possibilities of your love and grace. We acknowledge the moments when we lose sight of your presence in our lives. In the midst of life's trials, we find inspiration in Jesus' response to the widow's sorrow and his ability to bring life from death. We are challenged to trust in your power to transform even the most hopeless situations. Heavenly Father, we come before you, seeking hearts that are open to the miraculous possibilities of your love and grace. We lift up to you any areas in our lives where we may be experiencing despair or loss. We pray for the faith to believe in your power to bring life from death, just as Jesus did at Nain. May we find hope in the midst of our grief, trusting that you are with us, even in our darkest hours. We ask for the grace to recognize your presence and compassion in our lives, even when we may not fully understand your ways. Help us to know that you are a God who cares deeply for your people. We lift up to you those who are experiencing grief, loss, or hopelessness. May your comforting presence be with them, and may they find renewed faith and hope in you. We pray for the courage to glorify you and bear witness to your miraculous works, just as the people in name did. May our lives be a testimony to your transformative power. In all things, May our hearts be aligned with Christ's example of compassion and his ability to bring life and hope to the most desperate situations. May we trust in your miraculous love and grace. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus, who is the source of our hope and the giver of life. Amen. Loving and merciful God, as we conclude this time of prayer and reflection, we thank you for the powerful message we have received through Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 17. May it inspire us to trust in your miraculous love and grace, even in the midst of despair and sorrow. In your holy name, we pray, amen.